this is my fifth attempt to like make this video, oh my god. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm making a summer favorites video for you guys. I know that I usually make current favorites video, but I think I'm gonna stop doing those for a while and just do seasonal ones because I just feel like it's way better to like gather everything from every season because um, I feel like everyone changes throughout the seasons I feel like you change with seasons and your favorites definitely change so I'm gonna come at you with a current or summer favorites and especially because I've had the best summer and summer's coming to an end unfortunately um, and as you can if you follow me on Instagram you probably know that I had a great summer filled with lots of adventures I actually have an Instagram story like highlight thing um, called summer 18 and you can see all of my summer adventures there and I just had a blast and I thought that I would share like the best things of the best Let's start with music um, so my music favorites every single summer is just kind of the same my favorite band dream girl came out with a um, new album this summer and then last summer was when I discovered them so it's just or was it last summer I think it was summer before last summer that I discovered them anyways um, so no it was last summer yeah it was last summer that I discovered dream girl and this summer they came out with an album so they've just kind of been my like summer like band like go-to band so dream girl is definitely always like gonna make this category especially cuz their music is just so summery and I just in total love with everything that they like make. And if you haven't listened to Dream Girl, I definitely recommend. I feel like most people would really really like them, especially if you like like summery music. <laughs> the next band that I actually discovered this summer, which I can't believe that it took me this long to discover this band and so many people have already known about this band, Rex Orange County. I freaking love Rex Orange County. like. Oh my god, I just, I love them, and I found them out because of the, Sunfla the Sunflower song, because Sunflower is my favorite, and I think it was like on my recommended in the Spotify, like Discover Weekly playlist or whatever, and then eventually I like started digging through their like music and their albums, and I just love everything that they have, honestly, they're just such a great band, also one of those summer bands, it's definitely one of the bands that I listen to a little too much this summer. <laughs> my last band that I will say, and I found them out not last summer, but it was, it was a little bit after summer last last year, and I've just, I mean, ever since I've been obsessed with them, it's just kind of grown over this summer. But Colts, I am so sad that I actually missed um, their date for Kentucky. I know that they were coming, um, they came to Kentucky like last weekend or something, and I like really wanted to go, but I don't have the money right now. So it sucks that I miss them, but I'm sure that I'll get a chance. If I'm meant to see them, I will see them one day. But they are also one of my favorite bands. <laughs> They're not, like, I wouldn't say, like, a summer band, but I just freaking love them, and I love, like, singing <laughs> um, to cults, along to cults, um, like, blasting it in the car with the windows down. I just feel so free whenever I do, and I cannot match to her voice at all. She can, like, go up so high she has an amazing voice but I always try and I always sound wonderful <laughs> but last in music category I have to mention him because I've been a fan of him forever but I but I have to mention him because I saw him live at Theo Street Music Festival this year and it's a band's joy and I know that like I posted about him whenever I was in Beale Street, I hyped him up so much, but there was a lot of people that I liked at Beale Street, obviously, like, oh my god, I saw Tyler, the creator, okay? But Vance Joy is, like, someone that, like, when I saw him live, I just couldn't even, like, fathom the fact that I was there, and I, like, see him, and it was just, like, the most perfect time of the day, it was, like, golden hour, and it, it was just, it was so beautiful, like, the whole experience, and it just made me fall in love with him all over again. I always listen to him when I go to the mountains. I just love Vince Joy and I just, first of all, I didn't know he was Australian until I heard him talk at Bill Street. Um, I just freaking love him. I can't even like describe how much I love him. So I kind of fell in love with him even more this summer and he's kind of been a summer favorite too. 
yeah if you don't know who bands do i mean i'm sure that everyone knows once they play riptide like riptide is a really popular song but he does have a lot of other good songs that people should definitely like you know give him a listen especially fire and the fire and flood fire and flood is it fire and the flood or fire and flood whatever that one is like the best i uh, i'm just in love with him and Honestly, it was like amazing to see him live. That's all for my music and let's go to the next category, which is, so my favorite shows this summer. So I'm gonna be completely honest. Most of the summer, like the reoccurring show that I watched was The Office because Matt had never seen it before. Um, so I watched it for like probably the 10th or even more, like the 10th time or even more than that like I've seen it so many times but I like wanted to rewatch it because I was like if you're gonna watch it for the first time it's gonna be with me <laughs> so I was pretty much watching that show like pretty much all summer but other than watching The Office with Matt I was watching also shows of my own and I really really this summer got even more obsessed with nature shows because the planet earth 2 came out on Netflix and then um I also really like moving art. I found that, uh, I think it was like through Tumblr, like a Tumblr, Tumblr post. Um, and it's really, really awesome to have in the background um, while you do something. Like moving art is just such a pretty show. It's also on Netflix. I recently got done watching Round Planet, which is British and I just freaking love British humor. And it's like kind of funny, like a kind of funny nature show. Um, I really like that one too, uh, especially the episode with apes and the episode with bears. <laughs> so I really recommend if you like British humor to like watch the BBC Round Planet on Netflix. It's great. <laughs> so yeah, nature shows have been like my favorite this summer. They're just so relaxing too. Like I just could watch a nature show and not like, it's not something that you have to like pay full attention on, but you can still like really enjoy it. So I really, really love nature shows. Another show that, I mean, if you thought, like watch my stories on Instagram, you know that I love Bill Nye, like saves the world. That show is my favorite. And it, the, the second season came out this early this summer. It was like really early on in the summer. And I watched it like within like three days. I love Bill Nye saves the world. I just love science, I love learning, and it's very educational and like also kind of funny. So I just, it's like very intriguing to me. And yeah, I just, I love that show. There's like really not much to say about Bill Nye. I mean, if you're around my age, you know that Bill Nye is like freaking awesome. <laughs> Last but not least show that I loved this summer, uh, it was a cartoon show and I just literally recently came out, like probably like a week ago or two weeks ago and it's Disenchantment. I think it's that's, that's what it's called, right? Yeah, it's called Disenchantment and I really wanted to watch it because it was by the same people that made Futurama and The Simpsons and I freaking love both of those shows. I, I grew up I grew up watching both of those shows so I really just <laughs> wanted to watch it and especially because the main character's voice is Abby from Broad City and I just I had to and it is really funny it is a really good show um, it is kind of one of those like late night shows that you just kind of don't want to watch something too interesting and you just kind of want to like watch something that you can just laugh at this enchantment is definitely one of those shows and I, I love cartoons anyway like I will lo I love Rick and Morty I love a lot of cartoons which a lot of people don't wouldn't guess I think um, that I like just really funny kind of messed up humor <laughs> next category is books so I read a lot this summer and this is not just these two books these are my two favorite ones but these are not just the ones that I read but I read so much this summer it was my favorite thing to do this summer I hope that I like definitely don't stop reading because I do have so many books that I like to read or that I would like to read um, but I just didn't grow up being one of those like bookworms. <laughs> I wish I could say that, but I, I wasn't. Like I didn't go out of my way to read books in my entire life, like my entire life until after high school, which is really funny. Um, I think I read one or three books out of like my own, like my interest <laughs> um, in high school and middle school, like one or three books. And I think one of them was like The Hunger Games. And then I think, I don't remember what other book I read in high school out of my, uh, that I went out of my way to read. I think it was like Alice Through the Looking Glass. Um, that was definitely one. Um, 
And then I read a few, but it's like literally a couple handful. It's a lot of them I didn't finish because I was not interested in reading when I was in high school. But now, like after high school, I got into so much. I think it's because I'm not going to school. And unfortunately, like right now, it's not like I, I can't go to school. It's not like a possible thing for me. So I've just kind of been <laughs> educating myself, you know, not letting my brain just like die. <laughs> so I've just been reading a lot. But these are my two favorite books this summer. And if you have seen my Instagram, you're already sick and tired of seeing this cover. And I'm sure that even not my Instagram, I'm sure that everyone has seen this freaking cover and everyone knows about this book this summer, definitely. But it's super dirty because I can't own anything white, but it is so pleasing to look at because I'm just like a nature person. I just, I, it gets, it's gonna get dirty. Anyway, so this is the first one. I definitely, uh, I love this book. I'm actually rereading some of them, like my favorite ones. I like bookmarked a lot of my favorite ones and um, rereading a lot of my favorite ones. But I, this is, oh my God. I know that I mentioned in one of my current favorites. I think it was my last current favorites. But it just had to make it to my summer favorites because I just loved it. I love poetry in general and this was given to me by my best friend Jessie. I just, I love it. And I think that next time I see her, I'm gonna tell her if she wants to switch because she has milk and honey and I haven't read that one. So we can just switch um, unless she's not done with it, obviously. But anyways, yeah, I freaking love this book. My second favorite book that made it is definitely Into the Wild. Oh my god, I've waited for years to read this book and I finally, finally did. Um, Matt got it for me at McKay's, which is a really popular like used bookstore kind of deal where I live. Um, it's very popular, if you like know, if you know, you know who I am in like real life um, and watch my videos, you know what McKay's is. But it was literally like $3 at McKay's and it was, I mean, it was used, but it's literally in like right condition. And I had wanted to read it before, and then I like just never went out of my way to do it. And then I picked it up at McKay's, and I don't. I think Matt was like looking for audiobooks, but I didn't go in there like trying to look for anything. We we're just kind of killing time, I think. And I just picked this up, and I picked another book up. But um, this is like the star of the show. <laughs> and I read it, and I I know I knew that there was a movie. And I wanted to see the movie, so I made myself read it. And I couldn't put this book down. This was one of the fastest books I've ever read. I read it within, like, probably a week. Which is, like, to me, that's, like, a like a lot. Like, to read a book in a week. Like, that's crazy to me. Because I take forever to read books. I just love, love this book. I literally made me cry. I think everyone that reads it, like, also cries when they read this book. I made Matt read it, especially when, bef whenever he went to the Appalachian Trail, I gave it to him and he read it and he just loved it as well. And then we ended up watching the movie because I just had been waiting. But this book is amazing. I'm sure that m a lot of people have read it. If you haven't read it, like, please, please read it. Don't just watch the movie. And if you have watched the movie and you haven't read it, still read it because there's a lot of details in here. I, I did like the movie because they do add a lot from the book that you wouldn't think. I mean, the movie is really long, so they better, but still, like, nothing is better than reading where the movie came from. And it's just, it's literally crazy, especially if you are an outdoorsy person and love the outdoors, and especially if you wanna, like, you know, live outdoors and, or, you know, have your life being, like, mainly outdoors and stuff. This is a really important book to read. You will learn a lot and you will laugh a lot and cry a lot. It's just such a good book. So my next category is movies. I don't usually I don't think I usually put this in my favorites video, but I I don't even like you guys might not even not even know. A lot of people that know me in real life will know, but you guys might not know. And I'll make it very obvious online. But I am a movie junkie. I love movies. I if I could afford to go to the movies like every weekend I would. Um well not necessarily because there's not anything out that I even want to see right now. So anyways, my favorite movies that I saw this summer, like I just said, Into the Wild was one of my favorite movies. It was just like the whole concept of Into the Wild was just like so beautiful. It, it is a, such a good movie. It is really old, <laughs> obviously, but if you read the book and you watch the movie, it's just like crazy how wonderful they like just the cinematography in that movie and just how crazy it just, they, they just did such a good job putting the book into a movie and like making that character come to life 
and even though it's old they actually it actually still like it's a really good movie to watch um, other movies that I saw this summer so so I can't not say this because Matt turned me into like a total Star Wars nerd <laughs> so I will have to say Solo was a great movie it was everything that I wanted and more a lot of people gave like such like gave such negative like reviews on it but I actually thought it was so great like I love the story of Solo I love the story of him and Chewie meeting. I loved everything in that movie. I thought it was great. I don't know why people, you know. And the guy that plays Han Solo, like young Han Solo, oh my god, like he is gorgeous. <laughs> Another movie that I really liked that came out this summer was Incredibles 2, and I had to put this out here because my child, like my eight year old self, was like screaming. Um, Incredibles 2 was just like an amazing freaking movie. I just like. <laughs> we have all been waiting for so long and it was definitely worth it. It was such a great movie. I Couldn't have been so like like that was like a such a happy day in general And then we like went to see it. and I just like felt so happy and it was just it was funny It was like you could tell that they actually took a lot of time Pixar did a great job on that movie And the last but not least movie is definitely I love dogs and this one was one that I didn't know that was gonna make it to my like top favorites of the summer but I definitely me and Matt like it took us forever to go see it and then we finally did and I like liked it a lot more than I thought I would because I know that a lot of people didn't like it it's it is a weird kind of movie but I love weird movies like that I like films like that like artsy films and I love Wes Anderson I just love everything that he makes um, I loved all of dogs just because the humor on it was hilarious because like I just I just feel like since the whole language barrier was funny and the dogs were funny. You know, the one thing about the movie that I was like, kind of felt a little bit guilty on is the fact that I was watching a movie that like glorifies dogs and like cats were like the bad guy. I mean, they weren't the main bad guy, but they were still seen like as the, you know, the bad guys owned the cats and everything, you know what I mean? And I'm like more of a cat person, but I still love the movie. Um, it was great. I wanted the... This summer I've definitely gotten way more obsessed with like wanting a dog than ever. I've always wanted a dog, but I definitely want a dog <laughs> for this summer. I, like I've seen just so many, I just want a dog so bad. And like the first thing that I'm gonna do when I move out is definitely get a dog, like probably before I even get a couch. All right, so my next category is looks. So as you can probably tell, and as you've been able to tell my past videos and my Instagram pictures and all that, I have been pretty, Natural this summer, I literally got rid of, like, well, I haven't gotten rid of it, but I, like, put it away. I'm trying to give it away to, like, friends and family and stuff like that because I really can't sell it because it's, I don't think that it's appropriate to sell makeup when you've already used it, but, um, it's, unless it's eye, eyeshadows, but I've tried to sell them before and they don't sell, so whatever. Um, <laughs> but I've literally only kept, like, a little, I'm going to make a video about this, but I've only kept, like, whatever fits on my makeup bag and I definitely don't even wear makeup every day. I'm wearing a little bit right now for the purpose of this video and the fact that I'm going to hang out with my friend later. But this is the first time I've worn makeup in like probably like a week and I this is like as much as it can get. I literally just keep it super natural and I don't wear makeup every day like at all. <laughs> like I I think it's so pointless to wear makeup like when you're going to work, you know, and so it's like such a hassle. I like to let my skin breathe. My skin has been doing a lot better this summer um, because of that reason, I think. My looks have been natural and I'm getting rid of most of my makeup and I will make a video all about my journey of like going makeup less <laughs> or less makeup. I don't know because I, I still wear makeup, but it's like hardly ever and when I do it's like hardly any for fashion yay my favorite category um, so for fashion I literally have been the straight-up most bohemian hippie chick this summer and I love it I'm the most comfortable I've ever been and I just I love things that I've worn this summer I it also helped me get rid of a lot of things that I know that I'm not gonna wear again to be completely honest um, and one of them is the shirt that I'm wearing. When I'm gonna put the sleeves down. This shirt that I'm wearing is a Great Smoky Mountain shirt. And I will show, ooh, I'll show the back in another clip whenever I finish talking about it. But it's, it's this shirt and just like in general mountain shirts. I've gotten so many <laughs> Smoky Mountain shirts and like just mountainy shirts, which if you live 
near mountains you know what i'm talking about the one that has like the small thing over here and then the large image in the back um this one is the only long sleeve one that i have i got it for getting ready for fall and and then i also have some over here but the funny thing about the shirts is that most of them except for one of them all of them are different shades of green because i've been obsessed with green this summer and if you have followed me on instagram and know me in real life like you know you know that i've been obsessed with dark forest green or different shades of green especially my nails right now they look awful but they're green um and this green and i dyed my the bottom of my hair green this summer and if you guys saw on my instagram i didn't have it for very long i don't think i ever got a video with my green hair did i i don't think so so but yeah i did have the bottom of my hair green I literally like I'm loving green but um, this one is the first one that I got which I've already shown in different videos but I just I've been wearing a lot this summer it is the smoky mountain shirt it says groovy kumbaya vibes in the smokies and it has a peace sign and then in the back this is what I mean by mountain shirts it has like a little larger image and it says I got a groovy kumbaya vibe in this hiking in the smokies and it says cuckoo, kachoo, like the like the song from the Beatles. I just I love this shirt. My uh, friend Casey from high school also has this shirt, which I thought it was really funny. I like went over his house and I was like, wow, you have like it was so weird because I didn't know that he had it and then I had just gotten it and he wore it and like and he came out in the living room and he had it on and I was like, what the hell? Like I was like, why are you why do you have my shirt? I have that shirt and then apparently he had it as well. So, and then the other one that I got, I got a Dollywood, which I went twice this summer. I should have put that in my favorites. I went twice this summer. If you don't know what Dollywood is, it's basically like the Six Flags of Tennessee. <laughs> um, it's freaking bomb. I love Dollywood. I love Dolly Parton. She's our mom, basically, if you live in Tennessee. But I got this one, and this one is also just a shade of green. This is like probably my favorite shade of green out of the three that I have that are shades of green. Um, it says Mountain Life, Dollywood, and it has the cute little mountains. And in the back, this is the one that I have like in my post on Instagram doing yoga. And it says Mountain Life, Dollywood, and it has that picture in the back, really cute. And then, this one is the last one. This one is not one that I actually got. Matt got it for me, basically, because it's too big on me, but it's too small on him, so he just gave it to me. Um, so it's this one. When he first he went to hike the Appalachian Trail, the well, the Smoky Mountains of the Appalachian Trail, not the whole thing. Um, he got he got this the um, at the Fontana Dam in North Carolina. Um, this is where he started. Um, in my shirt, you can kind of see it in the the back of this shirt that I have on right now. The whole trail that he. Um, hiked uh so yeah i like this one it's really big but i always knot it at the bottom i do that with most shirts anyway and i'll show you the back of this one in a different clip i just don't want to mess up the camera because sometimes it goes out of focus other than that fashion item i love these beautiful boots which will probably honestly be continued to be my or will continue to be my favorite up until fall and i got the at a thrift store and they were like six bucks and they're my favorite they're brown i love this shade of brown and i wear these almost every single time that i wear my boho pants which is another one of my favorites this summer which are these <laughs> um, i'm gonna show you guys in a different clip the whole outfit looks like but like these pants are from earthbound and they're the most comfortable freaking pants and i've worn them almost every probably every week i wear them um at least once every week or twice every week i literally love them <laughs> if you know me in real life and you see me in these pants all the time i love them i'm sorry like i i'm not ashamed i love them they're so comfy and they don't look they like kind of they're basically like pajama, they feel like pajama pants, but they're not, like they're socially acceptable to like wear out, I guess. Um, although I don't care about that, I, I'll wear pajama pants if I want to, but I always wear them with those like 
brown booties and it kind of just looks like very bohemian and very just it's it's literally like the best combination <laughs> and I need to find more pants like this although I do have another pair but they're kind of smaller on me but like, they've shrunk a little bit um, and then I have my elephant pants which I also like but these are just like the comfiest out of all three um, but I need to find more pants like this on and all of them are always from Earthbound except my elephant pants so next category is food Glorious food. Of course I had to put food on my summer favorites because my life basically revolves around food. And this summer, I definitely have been loving avocado more than any time. Cause I've just eaten so much avocado this summer. Like I usually like avocado, like obviously, no matter what summer it is, but this summer I've eaten so much. It's just like been like most of the part, like probably 30% of my like diet <laughs> and then the 10 another 10% have been has been like mangoes which is not mango season anymore and I'm really sad. Another thing has been that has been my favorite is my nudes like <laughs> the noodle dish that I always make I made it in my last what I eat in a day and I've been making it ever since like almost every week ever since I might eat it today uh, I'm not that hungry I earlier I filmed a mukbang and I'm just like so stuffed but um, the noodles that I make are just so bomb. I love them. Eating so many acai bowls this summer, almost every single time after the gym, like with my mom, or just you know, no matter what. I just um, this has been like my treating, like my kind of like treat this summer. I've just been going out for acai bowls like a lot. Uh, my last favorite food of the summer has been tofu scramble. I've been eating it pretty much any other day that I don't have it smoothie or smoothie bowl for breakfast I've been having tofu scramble especially because Matt I think it's Matt's probably favorite breakfast at this point like <laughs> um, yeah I love tofu scramble and I've been eating it a lot this summer I think I need to get a break because I'm gonna like tire myself out that's been all of my food favorites for this past summer so my last but not least favorite is my random favorite category and this is like random because I don't know what to call this like maybe I thought about calling like hobby favorites so my favorite thing to do this summer has been my yoga practice and I know that I say this all the time and I like but like I've gotten so much more into it and like I've just gotten so much more flexible and I'm just so proud of myself because I've just I'm so far ahead from where I was like even the beginning of this year I've practiced my yoga like every day and I'm just so much more flexible and I'm so thought I'm having I have yet to go to a yoga class which I don't know why I just don't make myself to just go but anyways um I love yoga I've been so so into it this summer and I know that I need to make a yoga video you guys but I have no space in my room to film a yoga routine um I can make I can do yoga in my room but to film it would be like kind of hard another random favorite this summer is hiking and this is not even like a random favorite this is like something that I do a lot but this summer has been like great because I've gone on at least one hike every every month if not more than multiple hikes and I have not even been like one of my favorite things to do this summer especially because I've gotten my mom into hiking and we go on a hike every like this summer we've gone on a hike every single month like since June me and my mom have gone on a hike every single uh, month so that's really really exciting um actually since like May I think actually I just love it and me and my mom are finding so many different ways to bond and I that's definitely one of them and it's been great I love hiking and, and other than hikes obviously camping I've gone camping so much this summer and I love it and I'm gonna continue especially fall because fall is my favorite time to camp it's the best time to camp honestly it's not too hot it's not too cold it's just perfect and so I just love fall camping I'm really excited to start doing that <laughs> soon um, but I have gone like so many times uh, definitely with just Matt that definitely is one thing that I just basically do with Matt but it's like my favorite thing ever I love camping I could I would do it like every weekend if I had the equipment and if I had the money I have realized so much just by being in nature like it's just so great um, to just disconnect 
I this summer has like really opened my eyes when it comes to like nature and just being outdoors honestly so another random favorites that I already mentioned earlier was reading I loved reading this summer I that's all that I can say I loved reading Reading has definitely helped a lot this summer like I said in my last video I've read more than I've journaled this summer which last summer I journaled like every day and this summer has just been more reading and like taking everything in so that's just it's really refreshing because you know it's you know I'm not, I still love journaling but I definitely have read so much this summer and it's like really really helped my mental health a lot my last favorite random thing that I love this summer is swimming which I really hope to do this sat this upcoming Saturday if it doesn't rain it's been raining a lot so I haven't gotten to do it as much because it's been raining <laughs> whenever I always want to do it it's always rain so I'm really sad about that but Swimming has been like my favorite thing to do this summer. This, yeah, swimming has been great this summer. It's been so refreshing now. I just freaking love it. <laughs> and kayaking and all of that outdoorsy stuff. Basically, if you haven't caught on, outdoorsy, outdoorsy shit has like been my favorite this summer. Like it's, it's the best thing. But anyways, I hope that you guys liked it. That's all my favorites. This is gonna be a long video, just like the video that I recorded before this. Let me know what were your summer favorites and. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Go follow me on my social medias, especially Instagram. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to see more. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video.